the miracle working God. You are the Alpha and you are the Omega. You are the beginning of our life. Jehovah, you'll be the end of our life. And we know that by you, by, your, by our side, we will enjoy the fountain of life that is flowing every day unto us eternally. Come, Holy Spirit, come and be with us, come and inspire us, come and motivate us, come and lead us through the way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please take your seats. Why don't you give a magic clap to the most high? This morning is a very, very powerful morning. It's a very, very powerful morning where you are going to experience God in a different mood. Can I hear amen? Amen. I want to talk to you today on the message entitled The Alpha and Omega. Say the Alpha and Omega. Constructed the third verse. Boji Afa, ke Omega. The first time I sang this, this song was when I was in activity. When I formed the Angelic Zion Voices. We sang that song at the wedding ceremony. And I added the Alpha and the Omega to read it. It was nice. Unlike the party says that no one to create any song. Let's move on. So Alpha and Omega, then we'll be reading uh, Revelation 21, verse 1 to 8. Today, I want to be, be very fast because there's a lot to learn. And then probably next week, probably next week, we'll be looking at our Bible studies and then soon the quiz will start. Mm -hmm. The quiz will start. We are saying that our vision in our CGC, our vision is reaching the world through the word of God. Our vision is reaching the world through what? The word of God. In order to reach the word of God, the world, the word of God, then no prayer and Bible studies must be our lifestyle. Prayer, we must be a people that studies God's word. So in our CGC, we will learn God's word. Amen. So can we read? Revelation 21. Chapter 21. Please take the one reading for me. Yeah. I read. Mm -hmm. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things were passed away, and he had sat upon the throne, said, Behold, I make all things new. And he I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Verse 6. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega. I am Alpha and Omega. Uh -huh. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is that is a test of the foundation of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, 
and he shall be my son. Verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and, mur and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolatries idolaters and all lies shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death amen, amen. amen. according to the verse the other scripture that we read we, we, we saw a certain man in the picture who do you think that man in the picture is who was the man in the pictures that we just read? He was none other than Jesus. He was none other than Jesus, described as the Alpha and the Omega. But who is this man Jesus? That's the question I want to ask you again. Christians, I want to ask you a question. Children of God, where are you? Are you here? Who is this man Jesus that the Bible is talking about? Who is this man Jesus that you believe in? Who is this man Jesus that you are following? Who is this man Jesus that you have given your life to him? Who is that man Jesus? What comes into mind? No. What comes into mind when Jesus is mentioned? What comes to mind? How do you see God? How do you see Jesus? Who is he? Is he God? What kind of Jesus come, uh, uh, comes to mind? How do you view Jesus? Christians, I'm talking to you. I want to challenge Christians today. Who is this Jesus to you? The Bible says that he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The book of Revelation was written by John, as you know. One of the apostles, about 60 years following the death and the resurrection of Christ. Because of his preaching, he had been banished to the island of Patmos. A penal colony situated in the Aegean Sea between Turkey and the island of Crete. For example, calls it Crete. But I say Crete. Let's listen to what one man said. That's Sir William Ramsey. Sir William Ramsey said that John's punishment would be preceded by scourging. Scourging means killing, whipping, beating. By scourging. Marked by personal fetters. Scanty clothing, scanty clothing, insufficient food, sleep on the bare ground, a dark prison, and work under the lash of the military overseer. Pretty ragged conditions for a man probably in his 90s. John was in his 90s when he was banished to that Patmos, that, uh, uh, Patmos, uh, that uh, island called Patmos. He was in his 90 years. That was when. So you can just imagine the kind of pains, the kind of things that he might have gone through, that he went through before Christ appeared to him and gave the, the book of Revelation to you and I. He would have been beaten by the soldiers. Is that not it? He was forbidden from speaking about Christ, from preaching about Christ that you are hearing right now. As I said, they are hearing Christ right now. In their time, it was very difficult for them. Even for a preacher like me to stand in front of you, to tell you that Jesus loves you, to tell about God, to pray with you, my friend, in those times, it was very difficult. When you were caught, you were yeah. dead. But, but, Bible says in uh, uh, Acts 12, we were told that even Herod, Herod, King Herod, he, he, you know, he stretched forth his hands to verse, to scatter the church of Christ. And they were killing them, they were beating them. So Christianity to you, didn't come to you on a silver platform, on a silver platter. Christianity never was never delivered to you easily by, by our predecessors, by our forefathers, by those who handed down over to us. That's the reason why you must embrace Christianity with all joy, 
You must embrace, you must embrace Christianity with all your mind, with all your power, because it didn't come to you easily. People sacrifice themselves. People sacrifice their life. People sacrifice their time. People sacrifice everything. Paul had to sacrifice his marriage to get time for you, because Paul knew that when it's coming to, when it's going to church, the one who say free, the one who say fun. I said this, the wife might be giving her, uh, might be giving you problems. So I said, okay, for the sake of the gospel, I'm not going to get married. <laughs> so he was denied the joy. Paul denied himself the joy of fatherhood. He denied himself the joy of having children. He denied himself the joy of pleasure. Just to deliver Christianity. Just to teach you about Christ. Just to show you the way to heaven. The way to heaven. You are going to heaven. That's why you are here. Very soon you'll be dead. You will be no more here. People are dying. Where do they go? Listen. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are Somewhere beyond the blue, the angels beckon me from heaven upon door, and I can't slide up in this world anymore. So the time is coming that you cannot feel at all in this world anymore. The time is coming that you are going to be transited from the physical world, the metaphysical world, to the world, the spiritual world, to I have another world. If you, if you, let me see smiles on your faces. You have come to the mecca. He is the good and the finisher of the faith. Suffering because of the gospel. 
That's the reason why you have no excuse. That's the reason why you'll be burnt with fire without mercy. If you miss heaven, if you live your life on this world carefully, a time is coming, there'll be judgment for you. God will judge you. Don't live carelessly. Don't live shabbily. Don't live anyhow. Don't go following, running after earthly pleasures. Save Christ. Kaja magako. Oh. Kasu mo me utete. Kapu e. means that follow me and I will help you. That's what Christ is telling you. Oh, when I pray about my faith, I got me. You must say, hey, I'm Panama, the Bawabu. The Bawabu. You must say, the Bawabu. The Bawabu. The Bawabu. The Bawabu. The Bawabu. The Bawabu. Put your trust, your faith, your hope, your everything on Christ Jesus, and He will help you. Amen. Put your faith, your hope, your everything on the one who says that I am the Alpha and the Omega, Amen. and He will help you. Amen. Christianity did not come to you on a silver word platter. It was a hard and battle fought where blood out of blood where blood were gushing out just to enable them to extend the gospel to Jew and the Gentiles, the Gent the Jews and the Gentiles. You are Christopher the family class here call at your client. I'm not a you be on the Bible, eh? That's why you are cheap. You don't even buy to read. Be on it. You don't want to buy Bible. Bible is on your phone. You don't read. <coughs> what do you think? Look at it. Pretty ragged conditions for a man, probably in his nineties. And it was here that John tells us he had a vision. A vision of someone he hadn't seen for 60 years. It took 60 years after Christ's death to appear to John again in, a condi in an unfavorable condition to bring the book of Revelation to you and I. And you know, read. He was suffering, no food. If I've been banished to an island, you know what it means. Sometimes when you are watching these Nigerian films and this Ghana film, they tell we have managed you to uh, to the evil forest. You know how it is. You are going there without food. You are going to live among wild animals, unfavorable weather, climatic conditions. You can die over there any time. There is no comfort in the wilderness. There, there, there is no comfort in the in the in the in the in the in the, uh, in the island, island of Patmos. No comfort there. God, God, know what to lay his head. He needs to sleep on the floor over there, the glass over there. But look at you. Just yesterday, my mother was talking to me, and I was talking to her. Ah, uh, she prayed for her. That uh, Mau, I said okay. Me here. She feels that it's a twenty can. No, it's many. My mother said can. No. <laughs> well, the mattress is too hard for her. So that's why she's suspecting that uh, pains over there. You see? Yeah. 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 You see how we want comfort. My mother is not 90 years. She's not 90 years. But 
John, the beloved, at 90 years was sleeping in the on the ground, on the floor. Just to receive the book of Revelation for you and I. And then it will be given to you. He said, no, believe. Sit down and die. Sit down and die. We will read. In Revel uh, and it, 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 it was who now appears in his glorified state and reveals to John the ultimate destiny of humanity. That was the place where God, where Jesus you know, uh, appeared to John and showed him the, 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 the destiny of humanity. And we are going to look into it. In Revelation chapter 2, 21, verse 6. Let's look at Revelation 21, verse 6. In Revelation 21, verse 6, God identifies himself as Alpha and Omega. What well, I say, Jesus identifies himself as what? Alpha and Omega. Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. You know that you know the New Testament was written in Greek. And Omega is the last letter of the alphabet. Today you would have said, I am the A to Z. Is that not so? I am the A to Z. That is what Jesus actually told John. He said, John, I am the A to Z. What, is, what, what do we mean by that? Which is what? The first and the last. I am A. A comes first. Is that not it? Yes. And what letter comes last? Z. So Christ Jesus, not Muhammad, is your what? Is your A. Your first. And your what? Your last. Have let it be in your mind. This is a reason why you need to embrace Christ with all your heart. This is a reason why you need to serve him with all your heart. This is a reason why you need to fully commit yourself to him because he is your beginning. He is your first. He is your beginning and he is your ending. Listen, your life begins with God. Amen. Everything on this earth began with God. God began them. God is the beginning of everyone. And God is definitely going to be the end of every life on earth. Amen. If God is the beginning of everything, everything, every life of humanity, if God is the beginning, definitely the same God is, is what? It's going to be the end of it all. The end of it all. The end of it all. So don't live your life just like the animals. Without a purpose. Live with a purpose. Live with a purpose. You are going somewhere. You are a missionary. You are on a holy pilgrimage. You are a traveler. Okay? You are a traveler. You are only traveling this world. Between a specific period of time to a specific period of time, after that, you are going to live on again. So don't live anyhow. Be a lover of God, not a lover of pleasures. Hallelujah. That is what the beginning and the end. In other words, God is the beginning and the end. Not Muhammad. Jesus is the beginning and what? The end. Whatever it began with you, it will end with you. Amen. Everything that has a beginning has an end. But God has no beginning and he has no end. So let all the politicians, all those hungry ones, all those, all those people who have committed themselves to Satan, all those who are drinking blood, like drinking water, chasing after every presence, chasing after money, let them continue. Let them gather. The time is coming that God is going to end 
whatever they are doing here on earth. They will know. Bible says that it is appointed for a man to die once. After that, there will be judgment. So if you feel you have power, do anything. If you, you have power on earth to harm people, power on earth to kill people, power on earth to destroy the work of God, to destroy the work of Christ, power on earth to pull up people, power on earth to rob the government, to rob the citizen, to deny the citizens of their widow's might, deny them of a job to do, a job they want to do. If you have the power as a boss to be cheating people because you are in a position to do so, continue cheating your employees. Your employees. Continue cheating your employees. Continue gathering all the money to your house. But time is coming that Christ, the God Almighty, will end your life on earth and you're going to give account of it all. Amen. Follow God. Give a life to Christ because He is the beginning of your life and you end your life very soon. Amen. Never will you take anything to the grave. Me no keba. Me no keba ya. Eni kwa hamu moko. Emi fua uni ayeloli ni emu ya se au adesa. Let's go on. But God isn't speaking about alphabet. He is speaking of reality. Reality. God is absolutely the beginning and absolutely the end. Everything that is, that is, everything that is, originates ultimately in him. The beginning and the end. As I put it like this, that says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and the last. Besides me, there is no God. In other words, that's Isaiah 
uh, 44 verse 6. In other words, since everything comes from God, and nothing will outlast God, therefore God has no final competitors. Besides me, there is no God. God has the first word, and the last word, and the last word in history. Hallelujah. Amen. God has the first word, and the last word in history. So he has the first say and the final say in your life. God determines your life. Who has the final say?
Heaven for you. 
Neither your father can. Your auntie cannot. Your father cannot. That boyfriend, no money, he, he dare not. Let that young one know I walk out to corner me, he dare not. Praise the living Jesus. Yeah. <coughs> well, let's move on. So, besides me, God is trying to say, besides me, there's no God. God has the first word and the last word in history. All other attempts to have the last word will fail. The poetry, the, the, the poetry has no beginning apart from the potter. In the end, it will serve the purposes of the potter. Let us look at the word alpha. <clears throat> before him, there was nothing. Alpha means before, before him, there was nothing. There was no before him. Just think of it. For millions and billions and trillions of unending years, God existed and never had a beginning. Are you hearing? He is the beginning from everlasting to everlasting. He is God. There, there never was a time when he was not. There never was a time when God was not. Ancient of days, old as you, as old as you are, you remain the same. Ancient of days, as old as you are, right, are you seeing? As old. For you, okay, and you end your life. Don't think you can play smart. You can play smart like what? Me and boy, me, my baby, oh, I want much time of you than can you 30 years? I know you're 40 years, I didn't get an animal. Why? You're not going to go to me again. They got bad, they're not in my, and I'm in my, and I'm in my, and I'm in my. So, oh no, I feel like I know. Don't do it. It must be too late. You have to decide your fate now. Wake me up. I will sing with the dream I had. When I'm sleeping, wake me up. You allow me. And I dream ahead. I will convert to singing. And I will sing. Copyright. Copyright songs. Let's move on. I will keep on challenging them until they do what I want them to do. So we must marvel that God is infinite, eternal, unchanging in his justice, wisdom, power, goodness, and truth. But when you pause to think that he never chose to be this way, nor did anyone else choose to make him this way, it staggers the mind. It staggers the mind. The justice and wisdom and power and goodness and truth of God are eternal. Are eternal reality. 
The character of God is not what reality brought forth. Okay? It is reality itself. God did not emerge out of many possibilities. Everything emerged out of him. He determines all possibilities. God is not a piece of reality that you try to fit in with other pieces. He is the first and the last and the all-encompassing reality. In him we live and move and have our burn. According to Acts chapter 17 verse 28. In him we live and move and have our being. In him, hey, you live, you move, and then you have your being. Amen. But you rather want to do it your own way than serving the I am Christ, the Alpha and the Omega. You can't do without God on earth. Neither can you do without God after what? After you leave this earth. If you die living this world without God, it means that you are going to live with Satan and the demons. In what? In the lake of fire. Do you want to get there? <laughs> so let us look at Omega as well. But the truth that I want us to focus on this morning or this afternoon is that God is also Omega. The last is Omega. Aside of him being the first, it's also what? The last is Omega, and we are going to see. I think that it is the focus of our text in Revelation 21, verse 6. The statement, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, comes in a passage dealing with the end of history. So the special focus in this, in this text is on God as what? The omega of all things is the end. God is the end of all things. Is the end of all things. Including you. We have living things and what? No living things. So God is the end of what? All living and non-living things. Including you and your beauty. That to You and your beauty. That to go Christ made you beautiful. Christ made you handsome. Christ gave you a voice. Christ gave you less. Where do you carry your left to? Answer me. Christ gave you a heart. Where do you carry your heart to? To adjust yourself. Or to Christ Jesus. Where do you carry your heart to? Tell me. Adjust yourself. Where do you carry your money to? Tell me. Christ is the end of the money. That salary that you have been receiving, that money you have been making from your business, where do you carry it? Tell me. You need a guy? Yes, I need a Okay. <laughs>
Mbembe. Ngako la bwana. La police wana na bwana. Bwana bwana fa 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 la. Mbono, you are always buying clothes. You are always buying clothes. Every new clothes, every new fashion. What do I fashion designer? Go let boy. Fashion designer. There is no cloth that you no buy. Shoes, every kind. Every gadget you have. Let no your galaxy ten. Galaxy twelve. A Lenovo. Hey, I'm finished. Hey, Samsung. Hey, iPhone. Hey, I'm like, oh, 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 come here. Meanwhile, the mobile, the mobile, the time, shake up. Oh, you know, bunny, when they don't get your knife. Dad, you know, when I let go, you're full, and I get bare, I got boots, and I go below. Kimba, I got four more bare, tamal, tamal. And you know that we are here, we are feeling uncomfortable. See, if you love God, you can do anything for God. Get any more strong on your You can do anything for God without thinking twice. Oh,